They're calling it an assassination attempt. Nasty business. Well, to you, I'm the man who saved your lives. That's all you need to know, really. Mr. Rideau, how are Luger and Elle coming along? Oh, you're awake. Any aches or pains? The treatment worked without a hitch. For both of them, I might add. Wow, Spirius's medical agents really are tip-top. I'm flattered by the compliment, truly. But our medical spyrics are simply superior to your spirit arts, that's all. Uh, Leia? No, no, don't worry, I'm fine. I'd better take this. Sorry to interrupt all the excitement, but the bill for your medical treatment comes to 15 million gold. What? Oh, it might sound excessive, but can you really put a price on saving a life? But I don't have any money at all. With the proper work ethic and a bit of elbow grease, anyone can make money if they try, even you. Being a child is hardly a valid excuse. Whoa, don't tell me you're resorting to literal strong-arm tactics now. Really, Luger, you'll need to behave better if you plan to fit in around here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Rideau. Ah, perfect timing, Miss Nova. This woman works for Verland Bank. Luger, what are you doing here? Is this loan for you? What are you talking about? In any case, we're talking about a small fortune. <laughs> Consider your options. Not to pressure you unduly, but have you reached your decision? <laughs> You've made a wise decision. Are you sure? Sorry about that, the call ran long. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, he's just taking out a little loan to cover his medical obligations. This bill is huge! Did anyone tell you what'll happen if you sign that? Basically, you'll be tracked via GHS. They'll be monitoring your finances around the clock. You won't be able to buy a stick of gum without them knowing. A lot of debtors can't manage their money. Lots of them squander the cash they should be using to pay us back. Those deadbeats waste their money and their lives. But Luger here isn't a deadbeat, is he? That doesn't... Or maybe you're saying you'd like to cover his bill. That's not quite what I was... Besides, not to be gauche, but haven't you sunk every last gold into your spyrite research? Hold on, Luger. There's gotta be another way. Well, you could always try mooching off of a family member, a solidly employed older brother, for example? <clears throat> uh, 
hey. Pleasure doing business with you. I will transfer the amount of 20 million gold into Mr. Rideau's account. Hey, wait! I forgot to include your veterinary fees. My apologies for the oversight. See me if you ever need follow-up treatment. I'll even give you the frequent patient discount. Luger, please don't look so glum. It's my job to help you pay off your loan. That means we're partners now. Sorry I left you holding the bag on that loan. So Jude, you're broke too, huh? I've been researching ways to replace the current Spyrex. I got stumped, and the bills piled up. What'll you do now? Head to Canaan! I have to go there. You could come with me. Where? Canaan. It's a place spoken of in fairy tales and ancient spirit legends. They say the spirit that reigns over the cycle of reincarnation dwells there. It's a place full of magic, and it can grant any wish that you make. No, it's true. Daddy told me so. How come you don't believe me? Perhaps Canaan is more than just a mere fairy tale. According to legends I've encountered, the sage Kresnik traveled to the land of Canaan, wielding the Lance of Will. What? You've got the Lance! If the Lance really exists, Maybe Kanan does as well. But what in the world was that? <clears throat> El, how do we get to Kanan? I... I don't know. My daddy just told me to get on the train, so I did. A lost little girl. I feel bad for her. sounded like he knew something about Kanan. Julius. Kresnik. Luger, was that really your older brother? What do you mean you don't know? <clears throat> Have you tried calling his GHS? I'm sorry. The GHS you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again. <sighs> we might as well head back to your place. If your brother's safe, he's bound to show up eventually. You're gonna come with us to Canaan, aren't you? I am something of a do-gooder. Uh -huh. He says you don't smell like one. Well, thank you. Hey, aren't you gonna tell me the kitty's name? All right, first things first. Let's catch a train back to Triglav. Another train? When I came to, Rideau had already finished treating us. I trusted him because he said he worked for Spurious. I had no idea he would be like that. This is my treasure, but we could sell it. What is it? This. If you sell it, we can pay our debts. It's lovely, but it's just a seashell. It isn't worth anything. It took me a whole day to find it. You 
you think that Nova woman will help? She was just a classmate, right? It's not like you two are dating. <sighs> Nova here, and my ears are burning up. Booger, were you talking about me? Oh, she knew! Maybe she is close with Luger. Anyway, just call in a chat. You know, just a personal phone call. I hadn't seen you in forever, and we didn't even get a chance to catch up, you know? I know things back there got a wee bit awkward, but it was really great to see you again. Don't be a stranger, all right? Toodles! She sure is hyper. Uh-huh. That was weird, though. She was on that train with us, and yet, just now, she acted like that didn't even happen. Hmm. No tickets for you. How come? This man's travel privileges have been put on restriction. That's how come. If I let him pass, I'll be in hot water. Whoops. Looks like I forgot to read you the fine print about your loan. You know how Olympias manages personal information using GHS, right? Well... Stuff like one's criminal record or debts can trigger travel restrictions. The trigger system was put in place to prevent debtors from trying to make a break for freedom. Huh? Pretty harsh, isn't it? Sorry you had to find out the hard way. But it's only temporary. As you pay off your debt, the travel restrictions are gradually lifted. We'll figure it out. You'll be fine. Anyhow, toodles! Alright, come on. You're blocking the other customers. Oh, uh... Sheesh, I wonder what trouble he got into. His life's over before it even started. Tough break. Shut up, you big meanies! You don't know anything about it! Wow! Let's get out of here, Luger! We can look for work around town. Julius live together, right? Just the two of you? Meow. Uh, I mean the two of you and Rolo. So, the three of you. Yeah. Meow. That's just like me. Me and my daddy live together. When I was little, there was an old cat called Taddy that lived with us, too. Where do you live, Elle? <sighs> I promise we won't tell your enemies. I don't even know. The boat I was on stopped. And there were all these crates there marked to Triglav. I hid in one, and that's where I ended up. So you don't know how to get back home? Hmm. Uh, 
It's so hard to find good help these days. Oh, hey! Over here! You guys looking for work? You bet. It's your lucky day. I've got jobs coming out the wazoo. I'm talking spurious corp orders here, so you know each gig is a gold mine. At least if you're not an amateur. Worth a shot, right? We'll back you up. I must. Let's be sure to keep this up.
sure to keep the... Ready? I won't hold back. Look out! I'll help. Link charge! Hey, you did it! I guess you're not too bad. Thank you. 
Seriously, does she? I'm just glad we made it back safely. There's something comforting about coming back here. I certainly have vivid ones. This is where we came when we first arrived at Olympias. Everything about Triglef surprised me. Huh? Like what? Hmm. Well, for one thing, we'd been fighting on a different plane of existence when a rift opened up and we were sucked into it. What? Next thing I remember, I was waking up in a bed, surrounded by objects I'd never seen before. I was surprised by, well, how much there was to be surprised by. What surprises me is how happy you look when you're telling that story. Is this Julius's house? You live here, Rolo? Wonder when I'll get to go home. Hello. 
So, now what? The cat's got a point. I think we're all running on fumes. Ugh, tomatoes are gross! Hm. Why are garn so hot on tomatoes anyway? My daddy likes them too. Thanks, Luger. It's so yummy. I feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. Hey, you cook as good as my daddy. Speaking of your father, Al, do you know where he is? No. Some scary men came to our house. I ran away by myself. <laughs> That's why I'm going to the land of Canaan, so I can wish for my daddy to get rescued from those guys. Do pardon the intrusion, Luger. Mr. Bakor, I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm one of the lucky ones. No way. Surprise, phony! I guess not. Ivor. <laughs> You're quite an amusing little fellow, aren't you, Ivor? I could use a comic genius as one of my junior agents. Thank you, sir. What's this all about? You haven't been watching the news, I take it. New details have emerged about the terror attack, during which a train was hijacked and then crashed into the Oscor plant. The collision caused a massive explosion that ripped through the facility. More than 2,000 casualties were reported, including passengers and employees alike. Damages are said to exceed 10 billion gold, and experts estimate a final cost of at least 50 billion. Authorities identified the alleged mastermind behind the attack. An employee of Spurious Corporation, one Julius Kresnik. <coughs> what the? But Julius couldn't have... Couldn't have what? He attacked me at the scene of the crime for crying out loud. The police believe Kresnik didn't act alone. They're investigating persons of interest. Take a wild guess which person is the most interesting. Hey, me and Luger had nothing to do with those creeps! So the suspect's brother just happened to start his job at the station on the day of the attack. Then he vanished with the suspect. Coincidence? <laughs> Come on, you gotta believe us! If you're telling the truth, then prove it. Apprehend Julius. Then the facts are sure to come to light. What? But, but the scary glasses guy... ...is alive and at large. He contacted the CEO's GHS several hours ago. Huh? He's one of my top agents and far too skilled to fall into police custody. Around his little brother, on the other hand, he just might let his guard down. Well, Luger, what do you say? If you agree to catch him, I'll at least keep the police from getting in your way. <laughs> A 
A decisive lad. You've made the right choice. Luger. As of now, you are under Spirius Corporation's protection. We have a pair of promising leads. First, your brother made contact with a researcher in Helioborg named Balin. Second, sources allege someone in Marksburg has been asking a lot of questions about Julius. Balin? How am I supposed to remember all that stuff at once, huh? So you want us to check out Helioborg in Marksburg, is that it? But how are we gonna get there without money? You really expect to get paid before doing any work? Honestly, now, Luger. I thought Julius had raised you better than that. <laughs> Ivor, you never told me you knew Dr. Mathis. It's a long story. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble? I know the surface of this man, but that is not enough. Now, I must measure his depth. Luger seems like he's down on his luck. You and me will have to work extra hard to compensate. Wow. Dropping off some gold? Might sound funny coming from me, but money really is the root of all evil, huh? I never imagined that'd be how I'd run into Ivor again. How do you even know that freak? And why does he drop down on people like that? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> about it, Luger. He knocked you on your butt like it was nothing. Uh, Ivor's a very skilled warrior. As Maxwell's handmaid, he had to be. Maxwell's handmaid? It's kind of a long story. I see. Sounds complicated. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Even though we both wanted the same thing. Be fine. Can I ask you for a favor? Would you perhaps help me find my babies? I'd be ever so grateful. Will they get along with Rolo? They're all very social. No need to be a fraidy cat. <coughs> you gotta find them. I just can't live without them. Well, my room's on the first floor here. I'm just gonna take a little <sighs> cat nap until you get back. Please stop by if you find any of my babies. And remember, if cat first you don't succeed, try, try again. I whisker you the best of luck. Let's go meow before she rubs off on us. I yeah. Let's try to find the missing cat. That way, Rolla will have more friends.
sure to keep this up. Step at a time. Stop us. Yeah. I feel like we're starting to work together pretty well. And this is just a small token of my esteem. I hope it'll come in handy for you. Until next time. Fists and your blades. Yes. Hey, you did it! I guess 
Close your neck. Now I have the strength to protect. Stop us. You've gotten str I'm getting stronger. Nova to Luger. Come in, Luger. Nova to Luger.
I should be helping, not hurting. Thank <laughs> you. 